Do you experience hair loss, impotence, decreased sex drive, f fatigue? Are you zinc deficient? How do you know? In this video, you will learn the signs and symptoms, who is at risk for being zinc deficient, and how you correct it. And most importantly, what's the time of year you want to be sure to, to be taking plenty of zinc? The signs and symptoms of zinc deficiency are hair loss, lowered immunity, diarrhea, eye and skin shortness, loss of appetite, slow growth in children, and impotence. About 40% of Americans are zinc deficient. And as a result, they're more likely to acquire infections. What is zinc, how does zinc prevent that? Increased zinc levels slows viral replication if infected. Higher levels of zinc decrease inflammation throughout your body. The reason why that's important, lower zinc levels equals higher inf inflammation and poor outcomes. People with lower zinc levels should take about 30 to 40 milligrams of zinc daily. And again, taking zinc daily is not a long-term play. Talk to your primary care doctor. There are certain seasons of the year, it's important to make sure that your zinc levels are optimal. It's usually around from about late August to about the beginning of June. Why? Because high viral season. Why? You've got the rhinoviruses, you've got our RSV, respiratory syncytial virus, cyst, you got influenza, you got the coronaviruses, and you've got SARS-CoV-2. Hence, it's very important that your zinc levels are optimal then because it, A, has been known to prevent viral infections, and if you do get infected with the viruses, it decreases, it slows viral replication, and it gives your body a chance to build up its own natural immunity to fight that virus. And while waiting to talk to your doctor about your zinc levels, there are certain sources that are high in zinc. Red meat, poultry, seafood, whole grains, dairy products, oysters, and you can also get vitamin supplementation over the counter. And so maintaining your zinc levels is key, but especially during certain times of the year. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and join me in my next video where we will be discussing upper respiratory tract infections and lower respiratory tract infections.